types of motions in the previous modules we learnt about measurement of distance and length now let us learn about motion of an object and various types of motions we see several objects around us some objects are in motion and some objects are at rest motion is a change in position of an object with respect to time and its reference point the objects like moving fan flying bird moving vehicles are said to be in motion as these objects change their positions with respect to time there are different types of motions namely rectilinear motion circular motion and periodic motion motion of an object in a straight line is called rectilinear motion motion of a vehicle on a straight road march past of soldiers in a parade are some of the examples of rectilinear motion now let us do an activity to know about another type of motion called circular motion take a stone tie a thread to it and whirl it with your hand observe the motion of the stone we see that the stone moves along a circular path in this motion the distance of the stone from your hand remains the same this type of motion is called circular motion the motion of blades of an electric fan or the hands of a clock are examples of circular motion the electric fan or the clock by themselves are not moving from one place to another but the blades of the fan rotate and the hands of a clock also rotate if we mark a point anywhere on the blades of a fan or on the hands of a clock the distance of this point from the center of the fan or the clock will remain the same as they rotate now let us learn about periodic motion motion that repeats itself after some period of time is called periodic motion motion of a pendulum motion of a child on a swing strings of a guitar are some of the examples of periodic motion now let us know about the combination of different motions we studied earlier few objects while moving show or perform more than one type of motions for example rolling of a ball on the ground shows two types of motions both circular and rectilinear motions if we throw a ball on the ground we can observe that the ball is rolling on the ground in a straight line rolling is nothing but the circular motion and along with rolling the ball moves forward in a straight line which is a rectilinear motion hence we can conclude that that a ball moving on the ground shows both rectilinear and circular motions